here today and because I've been using PX4 since I was a student and thank you for giving this opportunity today. And today I will sh share my own idea about application to make operate the drone easily from the different point of view. So yeah, glad to show to all of you. So let me introduce myself first. Actually, I get my first baby, baby this April. So every night is so hard, but yeah, I feel happy day by day. Anyway, I'm Ryosuke Matsushima from Japanese drone maker. And we design and, and develop and product, also selling the drone based on PX4 open source. So we really appreciate and I went to a lot of client site uh, to develop a new type drone, especially in the environment. And this presentation is based on that experience. So let's start. So please remind the first time you flew a drone. Uh, in my case, uh, so excited, but also a little bit scared. Uh, and yeah, uh, through the experience in the client side, I realized the importance uh, about uh, thinking about how the users feel because a lot of users is not familiar with drone like us. So we need to think about how user feel. And yeah, in this experience, uh, I will share the idea about the user interface for operative, uh, drone operation. And yeah, I will explain the detail later, but yeah, this is the idea that I propose in this presentation. Okay. So let me explain about the issue in the client side in Japan. Uh, yeah. uh, our users want to inspect these, these sites, for example, power plant or cargo ship or construction site. And there's a lot of hard and dangerous work like climb a high place or work in the dusty place. So they want to reduce the, this hard work by, by integrated, by integration, uh, yeah, by drone integration. And, uh, and just an information, Japanese government decided to support, to integrate drone to this site to reduce this hard work. So this is kind of social problem. And yeah, for developing the drone to the, that kind of site, here's a technical challenge that we can expect it at the, at the start of developing. Uh, because of in the environment, there's no GNSS, and also they have a communication problem, and there's a lack of light because there is no sunshine. So our solution is integrate the visual SRAM and change to wired communications and change to high luence light. However, it's not enough. Uh, yeah. Here's the things. Uh, here's an interview in the client side. Uh, let me pick up something uh, from security companies. Long time practice is needed to be able to fly a drone. And also, according to energy companies, uh, it's difficult to understand how to use drone. And also, uh, want to guarantee the safety from 
general construction structure because the equipment equipment is so expensive and yeah the crash is not allowing uh, allowed so yeah the safety safety is important for the users so yeah uh, from in the client side i noticed the difficulty of the operating the drones because of there is a lot of obstacles and flyable space is so small so yeah and i also realized the importance of application to make it easier to operate the drone so first i start analyzing the drone operation and found there's a two problem uh, one is a recognition problem and second is control problem uh, in the visual flight it's difficult to uh, the drone is often obscured by obstacles like like drone go to the back of the obstacle we can we can't see the drone directly and if even we use onboard camera it's difficult to determine the location like we can understand determine the distance between drone and obstacle like that and about the control problem the motion of drone is depends it's your so we already we need to care about the, the heading of drone because yeah it depends the motion. Let's see the pub, this problem in simulation. Here's a SITL gazebo simulation, and this is a visual flight. And motion of the drone is depends. It's your so it's difficult to control, and also it's difficult to determine the relation to between drone and obstacle like that and yeah here's an example in using onboard camera yeah the angle is so small and yeah it's difficult to determine the where obstacle is or where the drone is from only this information. So this is a problem. So I will show you my idea to solve this problem. And I have a question for you here. Uh, have you played a car video game like Mario Kart? Oh, really? Everyone know? Ah, thank you. So here's a idea. My idea is uh, full animate UI. Uh, yeah, in the Mario Kart game, we can see the whole of characters and cut in the third person view. So it makes it easy to easy to determine where is banana or some item, or even know even easy to know the other players motion yeah, and this idea is kind of like that and yeah the animate, animated voxel map is provided by Octomark which is which is created the voxel from point cloud uh, yeah, from LiDAR or vision sensor and Yeah, here's a demo of my idea. Uh, in this idea, the recognition problem is saluted by full animated view. And now we can see the drone in the third person view. So it's easy to determine the position of obstacle and drone. And yeah, also, we can see from the 
360 point of view, and we can change the viewpoint yeah, as, as we want. And even motion problem is also uh, solved by viewpoint depend motion. Now, here's a set point in this demo, and the motion of set point is de depends on viewpoint, so the motion is so easy to image. Ah, drone, or motion of drone is so easy to image. And here's a, uh, I published the source of this demo to here, so please check it later. And at last, I want to explain about the benefit for to, about developing the application for operating the drone. Uh, of course, there is a benefit for users because is a easy control uh, operating makes it easy to introduce the drone to the client site and also reduce the amount of dangerous works and also reduce the accident and user can save the expensive drone. And there's a benefit for also PX4 community. Uh, yeah, now, the control system is getting stable, I think, and for this operation, operating system, uh, drone use will be more widespread, and yeah, laser publish awareness and gain a user trust and increase the number of engineers. So here's the conclusion of this presentation. I shared in the issue of client site, and yeah, I also proposed the idea to solve the problem. And hopefully, I want to develop the user interface for indoor environment as a PX4 open source project. But I've never, had, uh, I have no experience about developing the open source, so. I need your help and give me your opinion. So, yeah, please yeah, tell me anything about this. Yeah, and as finally, I want to say thank you about my coworker, uh, Keichiro and Kwon. Without them help, I can present it today. And also, I appreciate about my company's support. So. Thank you so much. Uh, do you have any question about this? Uh, yeah. Here's an additional slide about the system of this demo, yeah, it's working on loss and node is kind of like that. Okay, nobody has questions. Okay, yeah, uh, please. Please talk to me if you have anything uh, later or in the after party. So, yeah, thank you for attention today. Thank you so much. <laughs>